Welcome back everybody, hope you're doing well. In today's video we're going to be checking out two brand new budget lights from Twinstar. We got the new A series as well as the B series. Now I can already hear some of you thinking like, those are new, they've been available for a while. It's correct, but these are the upgraded versions. So we now have the A series version 2 as well as the B series version 2. The A series I've actually never tried before, so I also didn't try the version 1. But the B series version 1 I have tried before, actually had some pretty good results with that one. I made a really nice uh, no filter nano tank uh, once with the B series. Really had some good plant growth with that one. I think actually both of these lights are not specifically designed for planted tanks. They're more just for fish tanks, but yeah, they also yeah, <laughs> they grow plants very well. So very curious what's new about the version two. So we're gonna open them up, see what's new, um, add them to one of my tanks and yeah, see what they look like. Now, before we get started, I wanna be completely transparent with you guys and say that these lights were sponsored by Twinstar, so I didn't pay for them. But of course, as always, I'm going to give you guys my honest review. So if I like something, I'll tell you. And if I don't like something, I'll tell you as well. Um, I've been working with Twinstar for the past year and a half or so. Basically tried every single one of their light models. I currently have a E-series up and running as well as a C-series. Those are a little bit more expensive, a little bit more high powered. These are the budget range. So yeah, let's go uh, check them out. Okay, so I've received the A-series in a 30 centimeter version and the B-series in a 45 centimeter version. Brings me straight to the first thing that's new with these two lights. They've now basically expanded the range of different sizes. So with the first version, we only had 30 centimeter, 45 centimeters, 60 centimeters, 90 and 120. But I've now also added 20 centimeters, so a very small light, and also 80 centimeters, so kind of in between 60 and 90. So yeah, just cool that there's more sizes available. Basically, you can have a, uh, a light suitable for any size aquarium. Okay, so let's open up the A series first because this one is completely new to me. So quick look at the box. I think they've changed the color of the packaging. I think it used to be a little bit more white grayish and now they've made it sort of like red brown. Looks pretty sleek, I like it. So this is the 30A. Um, on the side here we have some of these specs. So this light is suitable for tanks up to 45 centimeters. Uh, glass thickness up to 10 millimeters. It's uh, WRGB, 6500 Kelvin, uh, 770 lumens and a power cons consumption of 11 watts. So quite a, quite a lot of power for such a small light. Yeah, let's open it up. Okay, so here we have the second thing that's new with these lights, is that they now also come with a controller. Um, they've actually sent me a few of these controllers uh, a couple months ago, so I've been using them for a little while already. Quite like them, just very simple and straightforward. We have three buttons on and off, a dimmer and then a timer as well. So you can choose from three different photo periods, six hours, eight hours, or 10 hours. And I think if you select one of these photo periods, you also get 10 minutes of um, ramp up and ramp down. So that's uh, it's just a nice addition. And then a quick look at the light itself. That just reminds me a lot of the, uh, the B series. I think they sort of have the same housing. And yeah, just a couple of LEDs protected by some plastic. Let's see what we have in here. We have the power plug, the uh, attachment for the glass, the EU plug attachment, and the legs basically. So putting it together is uh, pretty straightforward. You know, we have four of these legs and they can they just slide in the side. Just like so. Just need to make sure that you have the, the right bend at the right side. So this goes on this side. And once you have all the four of the legs in, you can uh, attach the feet and they sort of just click in there. So you just push them together and do the same thing on the other side. And that's it. Attach the plug. This is a new system, I think. This works. Oh. Interesting. Okay, so that's the A-series all put together. Looks pretty good. Of course, it's not going to win any design awards, but I mean, for this price, you can't really expect much. 
This one, the 30 centimeter version is 35 euros on Amazon. So definitely uh, a good price. I think the biggest one, the 120 centimeter version is only 90 euros. So definitely a budget light. Let's open up the 45B, see if we can find any differences. Okay, so we've got the same sort of red brownish box, but this one has green letters. The other one had white letters. Yeah, really like the look of the packaging, just very clean and minimalistic. Uh, let's take a look at some of these specs. So this one is the 45 centimeter version, and this one is suitable for tanks up to 60 centimeters. Um, again, WRGB, 6,500 Kelvin. This one has 1,300 lumens, so definitely a little bit more powerful as the 30 centimeter A version. And this one has a power consumption of 20 watts. Okay, let's open it up. Somehow this one comes with an instruction manual. The A series didn't, but yeah, I don't think we will need this. So yeah, in terms of design, we have the exact same thing. This one is just longer. And I think this one has more LEDs as well, of course. Not just because it's bigger, but also because this one should be a little bit more powerful. We again have the controller. And in here probably have the same thing as well. So that's all the same. So let me just quickly put this one together as well. We can both switch them on and see if we can find any differences. Okay, both of them are now connected to power. So we can do a little test, see if the, uh, the controller is working. So we have the on and off, that works. And then we have the dimmer as well. So it's a seven step dimmer. So seven different intensities. So I don't know if, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but this is the, the lowest intensity. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven so that's uh pretty bright let's put that off check this one as well okay so that's all working fine now, of course because these are two different sizes it's a little bit hard to compare them so i just checked the twin star website and i think there's three differences between these two models uh, first difference is that the b series has more leds so a 30 centimeter b version has 32 leds in total whereas the 30 centimeter a version only has 28 LEDs, so just a few more LEDs. Another difference is that the B version has more red, green, and blue LEDs compared to white LEDs. I think with the A series, it's almost like 50-50, white and, and then the colored LEDs. With the B version, you just have more, yeah, more red, green, and blues. And then another difference is that the B series is just uh, brighter, so it, it has more uh, lumens compared to the A series. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, let's um, add these lights on top of some of my tanks. Just see how they look on a planted tank, see how the colors are. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, let's test the A-Series first. I think we can hook it up to the 30 centimeter cube. Might even manage to fit it on the vase as well. Uh, we can fit it on the 36P on top, just so we can get a, a bit of a comparison between all these different tanks. The tank on the bottom is very green. This one has a little bit of red as well. That has some immersed plants, so there's yeah, just a variety of tanks, you know. Okay, so on this equipment, I'm currently running a Twin Star E series, so it's much more powerful. It's a lot bigger as well, it's, it's a lot wider. So let's see if we can remove this one. Add the A series on top, switch it on. Okay, so here we have the A series currently running on full power on that 30 centimeter cube. And the camera always kind of compensates for you know less light, so I have to dim it down, I have to kind of reduce the ISO a little bit. So I think this is kind of how I'm seeing it in real life as well. Definitely a lot darker compared to the uh, the other light, but still looks pretty good. Now this is a high-tech setup with CO2 injection and everything, so this light can this tank can definitely handle more light, but if, there's, if this was a low-tech setup without CO2, I would say this is a good, a good light for this aquarium. In terms of color, yeah, I mean, there's still a nice definition between different colors. You can see the bright green moss and then the uh, nice pink color on the Laganandra over here. Yeah, I just trimmed the stem plants in the back so it's a little bit hard to see the colors. Of course, we also have to think about the floating plants. So it might look a little bit darker than it actually is. Let's try out a different aquarium. Let's see if I can balance it on top of the vase as well. We'd like to see that. Well, it actually fits quite well. Yeah, now we can see some color. This is looking pretty good. So the vase is uh, no CO2, no filter, 
nothing, just a light basically. So we don't want yeah, a very powerful light. So I would say this, uh, this 30 centimeter A version is actually perfect for this aquarium. I like the difference uh, in all the colors. We can definitely see some nice reds on the Ludwigia and the Rotadla. Then some bright greens from the uh, Miriophyllum. The moss is looking good as well. Yeah, really nice. Okay, so this aquarium on top is a little bit longer, it's 36 centimeters, so we can see how that looks. Hmm. I was thinking this light wouldn't, would not really work very well on this specific layout because we have all the immersed growth and like quite a lot of moss there. But um, yeah, we still have a decent amount of light in the aquatic section as well. So definitely still packing some, uh, some power on this small light. Of course, for this specific setup, it would be better to kind of raise the light a little bit more. But uh, we can't do that with these brackets, but you can uh, DIY something yourself, I guess. Okay, so that's the A-series tested. Hopefully that will kind of give you guys an idea of how this light looks in terms of brightness and in terms of colors. I'm not doing any color correction or any color grading in the editing program. So how you guys are seeing it is how I'm seeing it. Um, yeah, that's the A-series done. Let's move on to the B-series. Okay, so this tank over here is currently running with a Twin Star C-series. So this one is basically like a one-up after the B-series. A little bit more powerful. This one also has a, a dimmer on the side here. It's like a 14-step dimmer, I think. So you can choose from a lot of different intensities. Um, so let's move this one out of the way and add the B series. Here we go. Is this the brightest setting? No. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the brightest setting. That is uh, pretty good actually. So I can definitely notice that the B series is uh, quite a bit brighter compared to the A series. I mean, if this was a low tech tank without CO2, um, on the highest setting, this would definitely be too bright and would definitely cause algae. So yeah, pretty impressed with the B series brightness. In terms of color, it's a bit hard to say because there's mostly just green plants in here, but yeah, I like the, 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 the greens look good. They don't really look washed out or too vivid. They kind of just look natural, you know? So um, yeah. Pretty impressed with the B-series as well. I don't really have any other tanks, do I? I have a 40 centimeter aquarium as well, right? Let me do one more test. Yeah, we can add it on this aquarium as well. This one is 40 centimeters, so it's not really gonna be sitting on it properly because it's too narrow, but at least here we can see uh, a little bit with the red color as well. Here we go, so it's just lying on the, yeah, on the glass basically, so it's a little bit lower than it should be, but you can get an idea. Looks pretty good. I like the colors. Colors are very natural, just not too uh, overly saturated. The reds look good. The greens look uh, nice and bright. And you can see different types of green as well. It's not like all, everything looks exactly the same color. Yeah, looks good. Okay, there's both lights tried and tested. Honestly, pretty impressed with them. I mean, it's very difficult to find anything negative to say about it. I mean, of course it would be nice if they would have app control or maybe a slightly nicer design, but I mean, in this price range, yeah, I think it's, uh, I think they're good lights. Uh, personally, I would go for the B series just because it's a little bit brighter, but it kind of just depends on what you're looking for, I guess. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, technically these are not lights for planted tanks, they're for fish keepers, but I have no doubt about it that you can grow some decent planted tank with this as well. But it kind of just depends on what you're looking for. If you want to go low tech without CO2, I would say go for the A series. But if you're thinking of going high-tech with CO2 injection, then the B-series would be a perfect fit as well. If you're looking for a budget light, of course. Yeah, I think that's it. If you want to pick one of these lights up for yourself, I will leave some links in the video description. For now, this is it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.